Hello, hello. So I am just coming to you with um, some of my August hits and misses. Um, some of the things that I've absolutely loved and some of the items that I've absolutely hated. So um, I don't really do this on a monthly basis, but because I've kind of been playing with a lot of products lately, I really want to um, just share some of my um, products that I absolutely loved and hated. So anyways, um, the first item that I absolutely hated is this Vatica uh, Sweet Almond Moisturizing Shampoo. I hated it so much that I just use it as a body wash now. I would never ever put this in my hair again. It left my hair feeling dry, brittle, um, tangle matted, anything that you could think of. That is what I got with this Vatica um, Sweet Almond Moisturizing Shampoo. We'll never try again. Used it as a body wash. You know, instead of throwing it away, it made more sense to do it that way. Um, love. Love. And I talked about it just the other day is the She Scented Avocado Conditioner. First of all, as soon as it hits my hair, I feel like all the tangles just completely melt away. I mean, seriously. But even better than that, okay, not better than that, but even better still is the fact that it smells so good. It smells so good and it's almost empty. You see that? So this is going to be going on to my um, wish list. I have hair on my face or something, sorry. This is gonna be going on my wish list for my um, Christmas uh, Black Friday sales. So she sent it avocado conditioner and it's all natural products um, for dry sun bleached hair with avocado oil and panthenol. Is it all natural? For the most part, it's all natural. Um, no parabens, no mineral oil, no petroleum. Um, aids in moisture retention, which I really feel that it does just help my hair to, to stay and um, stay moisturized and to look really healthy. Love this stuff. I tell you, as soon as I put it into my hair, it just melts away all my tangles. So this is a must-have for me. Love. She sent it. Avocado conditioner. I need. This is the only thing I've tried on and from their line so far. So um, I'm gonna stick with it because it's amazing. Um, let's move on to gels. Okay, so for the most part when I'm doing my hair, I will apply a cream first and then a gel over it just to kind of seal the ends and to um, just get a little bit more definition. So I don't want a, as much hold up on the top. I like a softer hold up here, but just a little bit more of a defined look at the ends. And so with that being said, this has worked really well for me as a gel and it's the um, dark and lovely all natural anti-shrinkage don't believe the anti-shrinkage thing but anti-shrinkage um, 10 in 1 styling gel I really like this stuff it gives me really good hold um, again I wouldn't use it all the way through my hair it's more of like a scrunching thing just for um, for a hold on the ends but um, it doesn't weigh my hair down so if it really did have the anti-shrinkage thing that means to me that my hair is being weighed down and I don't want my hair weighed down I like a lot of body in my hair so um, yes this is one of my likes for the month is the dark and lovely en natural 10 in 1 uh, gelée. gelée okay another item that I absolutely absolute, absolutely love is um, the naturalista the Naturalista is really good for sealing the hair. Now, um, I had been using the Siamese Twists. Um, I ran out, so again, it's another thing. I'm trying to use up my stash before purchasing more products. So, with that being said, and everybody was raving about this a few months ago, I liked it as just a sealer. So, the Naturalista, there we go. The Naturalista Organic and Natural Hair Care. And again, this is as a sealer. Smells really good as well, just reminds you of like almost cake batter and it's even the consistency is cake batter and what I do is just scrunch it on to my hair and again it doesn't get weighed down it leaves it shiny and I always kind of scrunch up I don't really care about like the little bit of frizz that I get no big deal but that is how I use the naturalista I can't put it all the way through my hair because it is too heavy for my hair so definitely something that um, I would repurchase the Naturalista. Okay, so the last thing is for um, face, for the uh, face, washing my face. I <clears throat> I never feel like my face gets super duper clean because of the fact that my makeup's a little bit darker, right? But um, the one product that I have really liked so far, and I found it at Marshall's for I think like $5.99, was the Giovanni Detox System. 
and it's a purifying facial cleanser. This stuff, it's, it almost reminds me of black soap. It comes out really thick, but um, it, it really seems to keep my face um, clean. And of course, I use my um, Mia, the Clarisonic Plus um, Mia, to really cleanse my face. And I'll usually do that in the shower and just kind of um, get it get a deep cleaning, a nice deep cleaning. So those are pretty much my favorites for the month. And actually, let me just share this last one with you. Um, I use a purifying mask too. Again, Marshall's $5.99. And regularly, it's at $12. So if you guys have a Marshall's near you, you can definitely find Giovanni products for a really reasonable price. So $5.99 each, regularly like $12, $13 bucks each. And I really like this one as well, but I use this on a daily basis. So, um, highly recommended and it says it's let's see okay with activated um, charcoal volcanic ash super antioxidants acaia and goji berry dermatology tested and it's by Giovanni I like Giovanni's products for my hair so I was curious to see if it would work for my face as well and I really feel as though it worked really well so just wanted to share those items with you that's kind of my hit and miss I only had one that I really didn't like right yeah so not too shabby um and I do have more items that I do not like, but that was the one that I tried for um, this month that I just wanted to kind of share with you. It's a no-go for me. Hey, did anybody else try this that really liked it? I'm curious to hear about your experience with this um, Vatica Naturals moisturizing shampoo. Nothing moisturizing about it for me personally, but I'd like to hear your feedback because it doesn't matter. It's not all the same for everybody. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.